What's up? What's up? I think we're good to go. We're live. Still some people to join. I'm so excited for this. This is like, there's so much anticipation building up to this. I'm hiding my cue, but I mean, you can see them. So I'm, I can answer questions now until about seven, but as soon as seven o'clock hits, I will be completely absent from the chat. Let me know if everything sounds good. Everything looks okay. Tough streaming on Sunday night football, but we got hockey to worry about. Every league being streamed. That's the goal. The goal is to have everything streamed. Um, the problem is, is that it's going to be one of us per league. And then um, the other two guys, uh, like they don't have stream experience. It's just me and Chris. But we're going to do our best to get everyone in here. Samson's not even in here yet, which is shocking. You guys are going to see my thinking face a lot today. I like uh, goalies are going to be strong. It's going to be interesting to see when the goalies get taken. Could put a black bar. You know what? I can't I can't see it changing the draft too much. I have a lot of guys queued up. Like I just spent the last 15 minutes queuing guys up. We'll do our best here. I don't know. Like I could put a bar. I don't really know how to do it. I'm such a noob at this stuff. filters i don't I'm, i don't want to mess with this <laughs> god my room is so blue right now out of all the draft positions so far what has been your favorite this year so i've done i think six drafts six mock drafts um i like three i like i like one two three and then 10 11 12 I just feel like from 10 to 12, you can get like such good value in the second round, like right away where in kind of the mid range, which is where I'm at, like there's not going to be much available in the second round. So we'll see what happens. Where's Yossi on here? I'm sort by ADP. I wonder where Matthews ends up going to. Is Chris in this league too? Thanks for all the videos lately. No, Chris is not in this league. He is going to be in a different one. I think he's drafting uh, October 8th. Yeah, it looks like the 815 won't be streamed. Hello, Seth. I'm taking Matthews at three. All right. I like that. I wonder how fast D falls with players who know what they're doing. I know. I'm very curious to see. I feel like a lot of our mock drafts have been like people know what they're doing. And D have been flying off the board early. So it's going to be difficult to try and get some of those elite guys. But that's where like different strategies come into play. I'm taking BPA at 
BPA. Is it, am I the only one that doesn't know what BPA is? <laughs> I'm like trying to like process it like Pierre-Luc Dubois. Is there another guy with three names? Devontae Smith-Pelly. Should I try and do a, a Puck Doku in five minutes here? Should I see how fast I can do one? Have I done my Puck Doku today? Oh God. You guys are gonna laugh at some of these. Oh yeah, Nick Jensen. Thousand games. You gotta think Bondra did, right? Nice. Trust the old Esposito. Wow. 1% for Esposito. Oh, this is a tough one here. I'm going to hold off on this. Getzlaff has it. I wonder if Dino Cicerelli has 1,000 points. Should I go for it? One percent, Ron Francis. Ducks in Chicago. Vitrano, Shen. Any goalies? I like to think goalies. Uh, I'm gonna try Dino Cicerelli for this one. This might be wrong. Nineteen years, thousand points. Oh wow. I'm just gonna go Getzlaff. It's like Getzlaff, Solani, Perry. Not Hemsky, I don't think. Oh, God. I don't want to look in the chat. Ducks in Chicago. Come on. Andre Kasha. Nice. That's a good squad. Testing the knowledge. Six minutes and we have one, two, four guys not in here. I saw Sav was in here earlier. Get pucks deep, I feel like. Sav was in here. Points league. This could be, yeah, categories league, if I'm not mistaken. I'm in a 10 person ESPN points league. Who should I take second and third round? I have second OV, oh, second overall. Um, so you're gonna get Leon and then you're in a 10 person. So you're gonna get pick 18, probably Stutzel, Stutzel Pedersen. And then you're gonna get pick 22. 22 is such a hard spot to draft. So you're gonna get Leon who can play left wing. Then you're going to get Stutzel, who can also play center left wing. And then I would probably either go Yossi or Dalene. I saw Dalene got injured, but he came back and it seems to be fine. That's another like important thing too sometimes is like when some of these D's, some of these like defensemen have history of getting banged up and Latang's a good example. Like sometimes taking their, like the, the two A defensemen, like who's up next? Bowen Byram on Colorado. Um, last year it was Jeff Petrie filled in a bit for Latang. Again, guys, the 62 in here. Once the draft starts, I probably won't be paying too much attention. I want to say thanks for the videos and Patreon. Thanks so much. Just thanks for supporting and the kind words, guys. Like, it's a lot of work doing this, but I feel like when you enjoy it as much as we do, it's like not, it's not even really like a lot of work. Like we're already doing it anyways, right? And this is our fourth season. So everything runs pretty smooth. We have a good team here. Chris is great. But setting up all the stuff like the Boldy or Shifley. Oh, definitely Boldy there. I think sometimes in keepers keeper leagues, like you can you can settle for 
Um, like, I would rather just settle the guy with the most upside. Where Shifley, you kind of know what you're going to get. But I feel like in a keeper league, like, I'm, I'm taking the 22-year-old winger. Boldy's 22, right? This definitely won't be my most active stream here, but this is going to be like what like this it's so exciting to see like how this league is going to end up who who places where because our goal for this so we're going to have we have six leagues and the goal is going to be the top two teams from each league get put into a new flight next year so you're going to be in the top division playing against all the other top managers and then you know three and four will be in a division and then five and six and then all the new people will get put into the bottom Meyer 30th pick in Cats League's too early? No, that's fine with me. And I I trust the takes of most people in here, right? So when I if I'm not active in the chat, then I trust what other people have to say. We have two people that are not in the draft right now, which is very surprising. No, no side bets. Brad or Fiala? Definitely Fiala for me there. I'm just curious who we have ranked higher. We have Fiala at 83 and then Brad at 114. So both 30 ADP difference in our projections. Yeah, Trocek's fine. Oh, that reminds me of another sleeper. I'm starting a running list of like the training, like who, who has gained value now that training camps out and we're getting like a sense of where everyone's playing what the lines are. And so that's going to be a video coming up soon, which hopefully should give you guys a huge edge over your opponents. Like between now and season start, like with all the preseason stuff, this is where you really start to find the, like the deep, deep value. For example, last year is when we found out Montour was PP1 and he ended up being like, he was a league winner last year. Yeah, we can definitely, Seth, we can definitely create separate channels for the FPPL. That that was one of our goals um, for like trade blocks and just like trash talk, especially if, if Samson's in here, there's going to be some trash talk. It's going to be hard doing this as a live draft though. Going to be any vids, like maybe monthly or whatnot, just give updates to the leagues. Oh yeah, that's for sure what we're going to do. We were thinking of doing like... Um, I don't know if you guys have met FP Sven or Noah is his real name. Um, we were thinking of just doing like a weekly podcast, breaking down how all the leagues are doing, best performers, best teams so far, um, standings, and then just giving basically a general weekly rundown of like what's going on in the league, who's injured, um, who may be, you know, moving on the power play one, moving off power play one, um, some players. That's like the goal. It'll be like a 20 minute stream or 20 minute podcast. Just so like when you're driving your car on Monday, you can kind of get an update and get you hyped. All right, guys, we are starting. Excel sheets are up. It's going to be a good one. Oh, let me turn. Sorry, guys. Oh. Sav, you better pick quickly here. You have no no decisions to be made. No surprise going with rant here. Matt Kachuk goes seven. That makes sense. Wow, Hughes, right? That's I'm surprised by that. Man, we got auto. We got one auto drafter, Joel.
I think he's friends with Samson. Samson, get him in here. What's going on? You mastered the craft of hiding the queue, you guys. J Rob 10. I thought Brady should have won seven. First goalie off the board at 13. Man, Carell fell to the 14th pick. There was a comment in one of Chris's videos saying there's no way Carell is coming out of the first round. First one, he's out of the first round. You know what? J Jacuz, he has he has Hughes as his picture, so it makes sense. Yeah, Seth, that's a good pick. I'm just gonna stay with the picks here, no chat. EP forty. Nice, nice. Exactly who I wanted with my second pick. That is exactly who I was looking at. And here come all the defensemen. Here comes the OC. Here comes, yep, yeah, here comes Dalin. Sorry, guys. I'm not looking at the chat right now. I'm, I got to dial in here. I'll answer some of the questions after. Hopefully, people in chat can help answer. But just I usually it's too hard to focus on both. Okay, so Dali and Yossi, exactly <laughs> how you expect it. Meyer. Surprise Fox went twenty fourth. I probably wouldn't have taken him there. Good pick with Miller. Um, yeah, guys, it's it's points league here. I'll see if I can send a picture in. I don't know if it's, it allows me to. No, I can't.
Damn, doggy, eh? There's Zib. He was best available. It's tough here. It's between point or Barkov for me. I don't think I want to take a D yet. I can't the board just because how the board is. They're gonna fly off though. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see if that was a mistake. You, oh my God. Vaz, I saw Vaz got hurt today. Or he's injured right now. Yeah, Ryan, that, that's who um, I was very, very close to taking him there. I don't think he's actually the best D available, though. How many people are in here? 81. Apparently Latang is also on power play one. Nice pick, Blades. A little early, but I think he would have went. I don't think Point's gonna get fifty goals again this season, but we'll see. Nice pick, Seth. I was actually looking at him too. I wonder where Bedard goes. We should have did a, a prediction. Man, he has been sick in camp. He is fun to watch. Yep, I got you, Don. No Nugent Hopkins yet. Euro 38 is fine. I was going to take him. Nice. Wow. Rupe fell to 40.
Damn, Sergeyev have a 41. A little bit of a risk. I'm okay with that, though. He was actually my best available D. Oh, no. That's who I was going. Uh-oh. That's not good. All right, Evan. I didn't want to draft you, but I'm going to have to. I was going to go Cider there, too. That's my first time drafting Bouchard. It's actually pretty early. But I need D before they go away. Damn. It was between like Carlson, Sergachev, and Sider. Whoever was available was going to be my pick there. That's what happens, though. Sucks that I was a year early on, on Bouchard. Man, did Kyle Connor go? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Asking you. Oh no, not you. See. I don't take goalies early, but if he fell to me at 54, I was going to grab him. Whoa. I got to scroll down for that one. Clayton Keller, Asav? Why so early? Pretty early for Eichel, too. <laughs> I click headman, he gets drafted. <laughs> you guys better not take my guy here. Blocks are pretty strong in this league. Got to keep that in mind. Three centers. Ranton will probably get center at some point. Wow, man. Burns too. Like you guys are just eating up these defensemen, eh? Don't do it. Get pucks deep. Oh my God. He did it. He did it. Yo. Oh my God. All right. I'll take Charlie. D are going to get really thin really fast. There's going to be so many good forwards available late. Oh, I'm so mad I missed out on Sveshnikov. That was my that was my pick. Tavares was best available there. Oh my god, Kempe too. I gotta stop releasing videos. I was hoping I can hold off on Kempe. Pretty decent start. Not the D I want, but again, just gotta play the board.
Sniping's all part of drafts though, and you, like we all use the same data. I wonder how many people are using the projections right now. For what it's worth, they are an absolute must. If you're playing in any leagues, they are a must. That's all I'm going to flash. It's going to be rough for everyone, Sav. Ever, like the teams are going to be pretty, pretty even. Quinn Hughes. Wow. Okay. I think I got some D I can grab a little bit later. Good pick. I love that. Two people typing. <laughs> All right, I'm up soon. I have an idea of where I want to go. Um, but we'll see what happens. Man. Okay, wow. Brad Marchand, eh? Wow. He's right up there, though. Morrissey was, was what I was thinking. Shouldn't have flashed one screen. Cairo too. I think I'm gonna go with Zach Hyman. That's my best available right now. Second oiler on my team though. I know a lot of people don't like the stacking, but I'm okay with it. Exorcision, I have him just a little bit below Hyman. Very close, though. <laughs> Remember, don't draft Tyson. 68th for Zach Warinsky? No. That's fake. Come on. Sorry, sorry, I got a little animated there. That is like even like another thing about Warinsky that no one like keeps in mind is that he's never had more than 40 points in a season. So there's a lot of risk there. Let me look it up. I don't think he's had more than 40 points in a season. Oh yeah, sorry. He's never even had 50 though. 48's his most. Wow, man, I didn't know people were on Reinhardt. I was holding him. That's a good pick, Sav. I was hoping I can save for him.
You like the Warinsky pick at 68? Oh, man. I feel like you could have waited. Nice pick with a Vander. I'm going to go goalie before they fly off the board here. The reason why I took Demko is because this league favors volume. The, the stats favor volume. Did William Nylander get drafted? Okay, he did. I was going to say... That was like the only guy I missed, I think, for now. This is the hard part in the draft. I think goalies are going to start flying. Alex Tuck. Okay. I got a long way till 91, man. Good pick with Kreider. He was best available. I have him ranked 52 and he went 80th. Pretty good. How are ya? Fiala fell, man. I'm surprised by that. <laughs> Shit is intense. I love that. Yeah, this is definitely a sweaty league. I'm kind of content with my team so far. This is the first time I've like settled in, have been like focused on my projections to get me there. Or usually I'm just scrambling last minute for Hag. I like knowing that Timmy can play multiple positions too. Like he's not locked in as my 1C. There haven't been too many. I think Warinsky was the only like stretch of a pick so far. Like everything's been pretty, pretty solid. I can go through the teams after, but it's just like everyone's teams are going to be pretty, pretty solid in this. Claude Giroux, a eh, bad batch. Did see he was line one power play one. You guys are not going to like my next pick. 
I know he'll be available. Man, I have Swayman. Swayman's like, oh, okay, it's an auto. It sucks that Joel's auto drafting. Swayman's like way, way down there for me. I have an idea of how I want my next two picks to go. So we'll see if we can get there. Wow, 89 for DeBrusque. What do we project him for? Oh, we have him projected for 100. It's actually not bad. Oh. Do I want Nurse or do I want Dobson? Like, this league f heavily favors shot blocking defensemen. Played all 82 games last season. Edmonton should be good. And I think the other contingency. Oh, I do have a couple Oilers, so that's the problem. Hmm. That'd be my third Oiler. All right. I'll take Dobson here. He was very, very close in the projections for me. Nice pick with Forsberg. I like the Jones pick too, man. Like that's just I'm I'm completely fine with Jones off the board there. Yeah, Demko is the only goalie I have so far. Good pick with Toffoli. Just, there's just so many mouths to feed in New Jersey, but they could they can pop off for 300 plus goals this season. Oh man, nice pick, Sav. I actually have a pretty good idea of how I want my team to look right now. I think I think I can get I think I can get there too. Which is a good thing. Oh god. That's really early for Forsling. Okay. I think you guys you guys know who I'm going. I got my goalies. I got my high volume goaltenders. No, James, you're right. You're right. I, I don't mind stacking, to be honest. They were just so close to my projections that I think I would rather get someone on a different team. Um, But my thought process with Nurse there for a, a little bit was that if Bouchard fails, like if he gets hurt or if he struggles, it's going to be Nurse that's going to fill in that that role. So, um, But I know that Dobson's like a guaranteed power play one guy. So good pick with Cousins, man. I can't believe he fell this far. Yep, Kemper was best available. I liked, I just like the upside with Markstrom, but because this league heavily volume, um, heavily values volume, that was hard to say. Um, Kemper was good. Kind of forgot about Doughty. Stone's a huge risk. They're actually both those guys are big risks. Good pick with Elias. I think I would rather the other centerman though, personally.
Stone was auto drafted by Joel. Oh God, Arvidsson. Why? Oh, nice pick, Blades. That's who I was going. No, no. Oh, he auto-drafted. Man. Always got to be one, eh? Nice pick. Wicked, I'm going to let you guess who I'm taking next. The only reason why I'm not too high on Velarde is because he actually has like really bad shot volume. And his shooting percentage was way up last season. But maybe that will change with production or with uh, opportunity. But a sub eight shot per 60 is really low. Wow, Luke Hughes, eh? Um, any guesses who I'm going here? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm just too high on Bennett. And he's going to get winger eligibility. So I like the flexibility I get with him. Oh, good pick with line A there. I have some pretty sneaky guys that I haven't even talked about in the videos yet. Falk's good in this league. Man, has Brett? Oh, okay, he did. Mal can go? Okay. Centerman, I get it. No, no. Shh. Shh. McCann, 40 goal scorer.
I can't really see under <laughs> under my uh, <laughs> microphone. I'm like looking over. Just got back from hockey. I started up uh, October 3rd. I'm pretty content with my team so far though, guys. Like I, I think it's actually shaping up pretty good. I feel like everybody says that though. That's like That's like the most common thing. Bennett will get wings, so I still have, like, center's still open for me. The reason why I know that, too, is because if you go look at their face-offs, like, he doesn't, he didn't really take, like, as much as, like, Boone Jenner, for example, who took a ton of face-offs last year. Nice pick. Do I take all reliable? Maybe I just round out my decor. So I'm at round eleven and all of my all my D are picked right now. So I have four D. There's just so much value still on the board up for forwards. So much I like still. Again, this league favors defensemen that block. So the fact that Anderson is power play one and and blocks two is very good. Dude, Ekblad, oh, it's Joel. It's Joel's team, eh? Okay, Blades. Okay, okay. Nice pick, Seth. I thought I could wait on him. How come you took McAvoy versus Dobson? I I have both McAvoy and Dobson. Yeah, I know. I wanted Erickson Eck. Bo Horvat, eh? Ah, oh, if only that team can generate offense. He's such a good player. Shout out to Don for this sheet too, guys. Like this is available on our Patreon. It's just if you're not using it, you're gonna have a tough time drafting. This really helps me decide on who I want. Good pick. He's such a safe a safe pick all the time. Hey, hey, Tyler. You guys gotta quiet down the chat. Giving away all my secrets. Man, goalies fell. Maybe I maybe I like went I jumped the gun a little too quick. Oh god, Hampus Lindholm. 
for what reason oh it's joel man that's like the 12th time i've done this the next time an outlandish pick comes out i'm not going to make a comment on it because i know who it is nice pick like it was between taze and anderson for me I think it's confirmed that Sanderson is power play one. He also is extremely good shot or a block volume. So I'll take the upside there. I really like my decor. It's like, I don't have any stud studs, but I still like, I've what I think five power play one defensemen. So that just gives me the opportunity for all of them to get there. I'm actually very happy with how this draft's going so far. Maya went like 20. Maya went pretty early. Right in here. Right there. First pick in the third round. Good pick in Larson. He's good in this league. 200, 200 plus hits, 150 plus blocks, bunch of shots. Plays the minutes. Okay, Sav. Okay. Take it by guys. I don't mind the Spurgeon pick. Man, that Brock Faber guy is interesting. There we go. There's Malkin. Oh, no. The Klingberg punt. No, not yet. Slow. <laughs> not yet. Vinny Trocek, he can play center for me. Put Stutz all in the wing. He had a good season last year. Like, we haven't projected for over 200 shots, 180 hits, 63 points. I have him as projected as the 67th best player in this league, and he fell to 150. I think even if he's injured, still a great value pick. Yeah, Kopitar too is crazy that he's still here. I'll just I think I'll take the floor of Trocheck. You can see the bottom of my watch list. That's okay. I'm not saying it. I see it. I'm not saying it. It's 
It's actually not the worst pick either. <laughs> That's probably been the best one. <laughs> I like the Uyghur pick too. Yeah, I call field went. I wonder if I took Bennett too early. I just think I th that's where I value him. So that's why I took him there. Rather than just trying to make an assumption of where people are going to take him. I think I know who I want with my next pick. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button, guys. 80 viewers, 25 likes. Appreciate y'all taking your... I'm Canadian. Why am I saying y'all? I appreciate you guys taking off your uh, Sunday football to watch this. Ew, no. Like, thing with Drysdale in this league is like, doesn't really do much other than get points. Like that was my worry with Klimberg. He just gets like goals and assists. Not even goals, just like assists. They're not like valued too much in this league. Really good. Good pick with Nelson, man. 40 goals last year. He was my highest available. I'm fine with that Wilson pick. Yeah, I have him pretty high up too. Only 199 hits we project him for though, eh? That's surprising. Might be on the lower end. But I guess we have a missing games like between injury and suspension with that guy. Anyone know if it blocks me from taking a pick if I don't have the position filled? No, I just throw it on my bench. I have a tough decision here. I'll tell you guys after what I was thinking. I'm going to grab Barbashev. That was a tough, that was probably one of the toughest, not, not like him, but like picking him over the other players available. So you guys know when you watch my videos that I live by the players I like. So you've seen probably all, almost every player in a video this year. Not really, actually. None of these defensemen. Bouchard.
Do I think he stays on line one? Yeah, I mean, they signed him for five by five. He's a great player. Vegas doesn't like to switch things up. Vegas likes to keep everything the same. Maybe that's why they've had so much success. Like, just from playing hockey, it's like when you bounce around lines all the time, it's just, sometimes it's a nightmare. You don't get to learn your your the players you're playing with. Like, chemistry is such a big thing. Yo, I'm taking Devin Levi. Like, I think he just fell. That's who I was. That's who I was deciding between. Like, I, I think I like. I can't believe Wool went before Levi. I'm gonna take the upside here and take it away from somebody. I don't usually draft three goalies, but goalies are pretty strong in this league. So I'm gonna take the upside here. Even with 49 starts, Buffalo allows a lot of shots, so he's gonna be seeing like a ton of volume. Like, he's going to be seeing, like, 30, 40 shots a game. Zegers fell, too. So, like, my last pick, I was, it was, I'm going to say it because the goalie is going to go, but I wanted either Levi, do I take a winger, or do I take Levi, or do I take Grubauer? So. I just think the upside, it's just too high for him to be falling to pick 175 for a starting goalie on a team with, the third most goals last season. Like they're they're a very, very good team. So and he gets volume regardless. I don't know. It's a rookie, so it's a risk, but I don't think it's a risk when you're drafting a guy like this late. Man, whenever I have Owen Power ranked, 289. Yeah, I'm glad you ag agree, Chris. Like, I just can't believe he fell that far. There's a lot available on the board right now. I guess I've been doing 14 team leagues, man. So it, 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 it like takes out 34 other players. Like, those 14-team leagues are a grind to draft in. For those wondering if you're watching it in the future, if you're watching it tomorrow or a couple days down the road, this is our Fantasy Fuck Patreon leagues, and um, we're hosting six this year. We have five full, so we still have spots left in two more leagues. Oh, sorry, in one more league. Draft will be October 8th, I'm hoping. And we're trying our best to live stream every draft. I don't mind the Rally Smith pick. There is a lot better available, though. Even, like, Frank Vitrano, I have projected higher. So what happens when you, like, like you're, like, as a player. Oh, my God. Ehlers went. That's a miss. Great, great pick. Blades. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys about my next pick when I get there, and I'm going to explain my rationale. And I hope you can do the same thing. No way Justin took him. Oh my god. Man, I was going to go Kane and just throw him on my IR. Oh my god. I'm so mad about that. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm bummed right now. That was my pick. Oh my god, dude. Blades, great job, man. 
could be steal of the draft. I my goal, there's just so much available right now on the board that I was I was just gonna take him, throw him on my IR and just add and just add a player. Oh my god. He's NA. Oh. Well, regardless. Oh my god, that's so so sad. The pick before me. Oh, not Blades, it was Justin. Good job, Justin, man. Oh, that is killer. You know what? I hope I pick 199. You have your eye on someone, and I'm going to take him right in front of your face. Man, Grubauer went last pick. How did Grubauer go that late, guys? There's still good goalies available. Oh, I just haven't been updated the goalie projections. I lost track. It's too late in the draft. Oh my god, Grubauer went 192. And I was going to take him like five rounds ago. And I talked about him on stream. Why did I take McAvoy over Dobson? I just like the upside of McAvoy better. I haven't projected better. Like, the Islanders just don't produce offense. Boston will. Boston still has Pasternak, Marchand. Like, they're still a good team. Everyone's so low on them, but they're still like, going to be a wagon this season. Like, they have, they still have superstars on their team. And McAvoy is one of them. You got to remember, he missed half the season last year. How many games did he play? Oh, yeah, he played 67. He was almost point per game. Good pick there, guys. You guys are killing me. All right. So we just got news that OEL will be manning the top power play unit in Florida. This should give a big boost to his production this year. He's going to be playing 25 minutes until the other two defensemen are back. I'm fine taking it with my last pick here. And for those wondering, let me show you on screen. How do I move my face? Oh, okay. This is still my cue. Kraus, Byram, Brown, Fantilli, Spencer Knight was there. Sharon Govich, who's going to be line one, power play one in Calgary. Barrett Hayden, Philip Hedl, top six. So there's still a lot available. Pavel Zaka. Oh, man, good draft. I think I'm pretty happy with my team. The standings probably hate my team. It's pretty close, actually. But the fact that Joel's team is ahead of mine with Tyson Berry. They have Berry like the craziest projection. 30 power play points. Like Roman Yossi's not on the team. All right, let's take a look at these draft results here, fellas. I don't know if I'm going to go through each team. Um, but let's see. So... I had six. I got Miko. Um, I followed it up with Timmy Stutes. Um, I think if Yossi... Like, Yossi was fine at that pick for me there. And Pedersen. Like, it was between Pedersen. Like, pretty much as the draft was was happening there, like, when the Obi pick went, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get one of Pedersen, Stutzel, Dalene, or Yossi. It was one of the four. So, Stutzel fell. He's who I'm the highest on. So I went with him and then it came back around to me. I, I want to go defenseman, but it's like, do I take points or do I take EK or do I just like stretch on some of these D man? So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go with the, with point. Um, give me some more flexibility. Um, and then, but D really thin out in that like mid part of the round. So I had to go Bouchard and then I followed up with McAvoy because there really wasn't much better available um, than McAvoy. Like I like him over Hughes, Wierenski, Petro. Maybe Petro's close, but I like uh, McAvoy a little bit more. Um, and then Hyman fell. Like, I, I don't know. He had a really good season last year, and like we know how many goals this Edmonton team scores. So I need a dual position eligible. Um, and then this is a volume league, so you want goalies that are going to get starts and saves. And I got them. The three I'm happy with. Um, I got a lot of the players I like. Bennett, Sanderson, Trocek, Barbashev, Lekkinen, OEL, like a lot of guys that I'm like very happy with with drafting. Um, some players I'm sad I missed. 
um, the pick before me was Svechnikov, who I was going to take here. Um, and who knows, maybe McAvoy would have fell to me next round. Um, and then another miss was Kempe, who went in the same round as Svechnikov and McAvoy. So not much I can do there. Um, who else? I wanted Evander Kane, uh, but I don't know. I, I think I liked Hyman a little bit more because he does get power play one. Like when you're t when that team scores like 70 power play goals, it's like you probably want to take the guy that's on the top power play unit, unit even though Kane has like extremely good shot volume or uh, shot and hit volume. Um, who else was a miss? I wanted Kane, which sucked, um, but I'm fine with with like Anderson, Sanderson, Dobbs. Why did all my defensemen end with Son, Bouchardson, McAvoy, Son? Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with my team. Seth, Seth, I'll take a look quickly. Now everyone's gonna request, but we'll, we'll go to Seth. Yeah, Brady Carrill. That's why I like the end of the draft. You get two first rounders. Like they're it's such a good start. And then you pick. You got your goalie. Who did you go? You have Skinner. Man, who so fell? Who so fell? I did a request. You kill me. Uh, I definitely wanted Matheson too. Seth, do you use the projections? Like, were you were you using the sheet throughout the draft? Because, like, Matheson was, like, he went early, but he's projected very well for us. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, I'll go through. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Oh, my man, I can't believe how far Kyle Connor fell. Like, he's a third-round pick. I really like your team, actually. Of course, you took all the Johns. Gaudreau, Huberto. Tell me you dropped another one. Close, close. Um... Yeah, it's a good team, man. You took a lot of the best available. I don't like Samsonov and Wool as your goalies. Oh, but you have Igor, so you're gonna get you're gonna get your volume. Um, your D, Dougie Burns, great way to start, and then like th that, that's where you're gonna find your yourself in trouble is those like depth defensemen. Like they won't be getting you there, but there's still a good D available. Like Byram's still there. Sav, dude, Sav, you had some good picks, man. Except Keller. That was the only stretch you had. But man, I was so mad about Ryan Hart. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna fall to me. Um didn't like Fox too much, but like Meyer McDavid Fox is a good start. Like you got you got your defenseman. You know what? Fox is good because he blocks. Um, but you got your peripheral defenseman. You got Grubauer so late. Like, how why were you guys taking Hill over Grubauer or uh Wool? Like, Grubauer should have went, like, in here, like, before Schmied. I like Grubauer over almost every single goalie on this board here. Bit out of the screen. Oh, okay, guys. Good call. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. It's going to be a little bit scuffed, but we'll deal with it. Um, fair enough. Um, who else? Darren. What's your team name, Darren? So, Johnny. Darren. All right, your Jacuz. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Or is that supposed to be Jack Hughes? That's definitely what it is. All right, so you went three centers, um, but two guys without do eligibility, so it's a great start. Um, love the Sergachev, Morrissey. Like you have a great decor. You got your volume goalies. You got your hit, your hitting wingers. Dude, this is a really good team. I loved Kemper too. Blades of Glory. Could be the best start of anyone here. Um Gustafson's a little iffy just because it's a it's a points league. So again, volume trumps anything. Um, but definitely fine with Jari. I can't believe where you got Ehlers, man. Oh my god, that was such a miss by me. Such a miss. But I'm hoping for you, for everyone that watches, when you go into your drafts, you remember like the last three picks. Like, give me Ehlers, give me Pacioretty, give me Patty Kane. Can't can't be perfect in the drafts. Yes, I have no worries, man. No, the Metro draft starts in 10 minutes. It will not be streamed. 
so I didn't flop. No, Sav, your team's good, man. All right, guys, thanks so much for the draft. That was an absolute blast. I'm happy with my team. I hope you guys are too. Um, we're going to try and keep this updated as much as we can, posting on YouTube about how the leagues are going. I'm so excited for this, man. It's going to be a blast. Thank you all for joining in. Um, again, there will be some prizes, so you definitely want to stay uh, up to date with your teams and, and editing your rosters. And then uh, we'll be moving everyone in the flights next season, depending on how we do. So, But thank you all for watching, guys. A uh, ton of content coming out. Recorded two videos today. That should be coming out this week. Chris will be on it as well. Um, yeah, take care. And for those who were in the Metro draft, good luck tonight. I think it'll be Noah drafting. Take care, everybody.